The holidays are behind us. Good reason, says our Jim Gaffigan, to celebrate. Well, I made it. I survived the holidays with my family, my families, all those weirdos that I'm somehow related to. Let's just say, if God is the producer of the holiday season, he tends to lean into drama. I am truly grateful that I can spend time with these goofballs, but the amount of crisis and tension I encounter during the holiday season often makes me feel like I'm involuntarily participating in a reality show. The entire holiday season seems like a series of rotating reality show experiences. In early November, I always envisioned Thanksgiving being like the Great British Bake Off, with everyone being supportive and polite. Your sponges are actually really good. What? But often what transpires is more reminiscent of kitchen nightmares. That is well done. What about this? It's well done. Or even nailed it. Oh, I don't mean to laugh, but what is happening? December has all those holiday work parties, which seem to bring out behavior from coworkers more commonly found on Jersey Shore or The Masked Singer. Take it off. Heck, even getting to holiday destinations often has a heavy, amazing race vibe. The it's birthday gonna take another be. hour. Okay, well, okay, well then take this out and let's just go. If you go on a trip with your family during the holidays, you subject yourself to a whole other set of reality show comparisons. I took my family on a beach vacation, which at times felt like a never-ending Survivor episode, where unfortunately nobody was voted off. Travis Buckley. I'm just grateful it didn't get to the point of naked and afraid. Where else would you like me to clean my bum? The holiday season officially ends with New Year's Eve, which for some reason turns normal adults into participants on Love Island. I guess any time with family can turn into a Real Housewives episode. You'll know. Never. Everybody will know. my husband. Everybody you will know. You understand that? Everybody will know. Go after my Everybody husband. husband. But around the holidays, you really wish Andy Cohen was there to keep the peace. Happy New Year, everyone.